everybody. This is Ray Wan with Constellation Research. I'm live here at the HPE Discover Show. Here with Vishal, the GM of Green Lake Services. Thank you so much for being here. Happy to be here, Ray. So what's going on? This is the big day. It is uh, big. It's exciting. You can see kind of, uh, you can see the buzz yeah. here. It's the first uh, full Discover, I think, since we opened after COVID. Expecting over 10,000 people. Should be a fantastic week. You know what? What's amazing about this is really a shift in terms of the way we look at the cloud, right? Before it was, let's put everything into the cloud. And now we're being much more strategic about yeah. workloads. And we partnered in a study talking about this, talking to CIOs, talking to individuals about what's important. How did that partnership work? And what did we find? Yeah, it's very interesting, right? So kind of, um, you know, we launched a, a solution called Private Cloud Enterprise yep. about a year ago. And as part of that, I've been on the road talking to customers. I think I've probably spoken with 100 customers. And I think there's been a little bit of a shift over the last uh, six months or 12 months, right? Earlier, people were talking exactly what you said. Hey, there was, a, there was a direction which was, hey, put everything on the cloud. But as a lot of our customers have put volume on the cloud, uh, they've taken a little bit of a step back and said, well, is this the right answer for me, yeah. right? Especially a couple of things have happened. One, uh, for certain very data intensive workloads, they're starting to see performance challenges in the cloud, right? Second is they're starting to see cost challenges as well, right? So that was, we started seeing a shift in direction and that's when we called you guys and said, hey, Ray, we are seeing a shift here. Can you go validate that with, uh, with, a, with a broader set of customer base? And we are definitely seeing that same yeah. shift as well. One of the big things, it's not just the workloads, not just the performance in the cloud. As we move into that era of AI, it's going to be even more crucial depending where you put those workloads and how you refactor your code. Some code is not going to work as well in the cloud as others. And we're starting to see that too. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, as you said, it's a workload-based discussion, right? So for a number of workloads, think about mobile frontends. I think a public cloud is a great destination for those. But think about static or slowly growing uh, data-intensive workloads. They don't perform that well in the cloud, no. right? And especially if there's a hybridness to it. For example, that data source on-prem, you're trying to run the application in the yeah. cloud it breaks, right? There's latency that comes into play. And then for mission critical applications, what we are seeing and our customers are seeing, it's not the right architecture and the answer. Data gravity, latency, performance, right. they're all impacting. Now, what are some of the customer challenges you're seeing today right now as they're making those shifts? And you know what? One of some of the biggest banks, some of the biggest government entities, some of the biggest manufacturers are making that move. Yeah. So. I think the biggest, when we talk to our customers, the the question that they are asking us all the time is, what's the right workload placement strategy? Yes. So placement is the key word here, and they're trying to figure out what's the right placement. And economics is a design criteria for them, as is performance. And so they're trying to figure out the right mix in terms of which workload should I put where, and how do I think about it? And you know, one of the customers I was talking to recently, he was talking about it being much more dynamic saying, hey, I have a pool of infrastructure in the cloud. I have a pool of infrastructure on premises across three or 4,000 locations. How do I make sure I'm optimizing both in the best way? So I think that's the key and that's the holy grail in terms of how we can help our customers optimize that entire mix such that they get the best performance, the best economics, right, and the best agility. So I think that's kind of how uh, what we are hearing from our customers. You no, know, I agree with you. We're definitely seeing those types of shifts. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't mean that everything is going to be in the cloud. It doesn't mean everything's going to be on-premises. I think that multi-cloud hybrid strategy we've been talking about for yep. years is now coming to fruition. Um, another point to you, really, is more importantly, um, when customers are thinking about those changes and shifts, what are they doing with repatriation in terms of getting stuff into the cloud? Are there some first steps they should consider? Yeah. So we are starting to see a lot more of that, Ray. This is interesting you bring it up. Right? One of the things we are doing is working with co-location partners, standing up our private cloud, uh, private cloud uh, stacks there. So from a customer perspective, they can directly bring on uh, workloads from any of the public cloud vendors directly to our private cloud, right? Completely managed by us. Uh, complete the, the complexity is completely abstracted from them. It's an easy lift and shift back, especially if they are virtual machine workloads or if they are containerized workloads and are not tied to any proprietary uh, services within the public clouds. It's an easy lift and shift back into the private cloud enterprise, into the private clouds where they get the control, that they get dedicated infrastructure, they get the cost benefits, and they get the performance benefits. So this is not the data centers of the past. This is something no. modern, something takes advantage of the hybrid workloads, Correct. and of course, the ability to actually move in and out of the cloud as you see fit. Exactly, and you know the benefit of the Colo is the interconnects that they have to the public cloud. So that, you know, if you're wanting to run hybrid workloads, you can get uh, the benefit of lower latency 
by being cloud adjacent in a photo in a photo location. You know, so this brings a lot of meaning to the theme of this year's show, Edge to Cloud, right? Yeah. Because we're covering all the different possibilities. Anything you want to share with the audience about what's about to happen next year? Yeah, I think you'll hear a lot about uh, our Edge to Cloud capabilities in terms of how our uh, customers are running workloads all the way from Edge to Cloud. But at the same time, how are they making the most out of uh, AI and machine learning? So you'll hear a lot more about how we are addressing those challenges for customers in context of GreenLake and in context of the cloud. That's amazing. One last thing, is there a DevOps focus here that we should worry about as well? Uh, uh, Think about? 100%. So if you look at our private cloud, is focused on the developer persona, on the data scientist, data engineer persona, as well as the operator persona. Focused on making it easier for them to operate and run or giving them more capabilities? Both, right? Okay. So we started off with targeting the operator persona, but over time now we are targeting and we are serving the developer persona as well as the data scientist persona. So from, uh, from a DevOps perspective, we've built a ton of automation. Right? We have enabled a marketplace that has a ton of tooling that the developers can click to deploy right. onto the cloud. Very similar to how they would do it in the public cloud. This is wonderful. Hey, Vishal, thanks a lot for your time today. Thank Look you. Look forward Ray. to having an amazing event. So, Thank you very much. Appreciate right. the time. Take care. Yeah. So, thanks. Bye, bye. everyone.